Welcome back to the channel everyone. So I've been dropping a lot of Apple Watch videos recently. I dropped my Apple Watch 1 last year, two years ago, Apple Watch 2, 3. Now we get to the fourth one and this is my main Apple Watch that I'm using every day. I am not wealthy enough to go pick up the Watch Series 5 yet. So once I figured that my financial stuff out, then I'll pick up the Series 5. But I'll be honest, I was using the Series 2 before and that watch is pretty much the most capable watch I ever needed. I was using the first Apple Watch, the Series Zero, for a very long time. The first like two years I owned a watch, then I switched to the Series 2 last year, and I used that up until about like two, three weeks ago, and the Series 2 was very, very capable. I felt like, yeah, it was a little glitchy here and there. Like, whatever I needed to do with it, it worked. I kind of relate that to like the iPhone success, but this Apple Watch Series 4 has been that on steroids. It has been such a smooth sailing device, and I really don't have anything to complain about coming at least from a Series 2. Now, one thing I really liked about this watch, and that was kind of overhyped, was the screen. It, apparently, they said it was like going to be way bigger and this and that, and there's less bezel. And there is less bezel, but for some reason, every time I looked at the photos and everything, I thought it was going to be more bezel-less or have less bezel on it, but that's not really the case. I can still see like quite a bit of bezel on it. It's not that big of a deal, though. But when I look at my Series 2 and I look at my Series 4, I don't really think there's that big of a difference on it. And the Series 5 is built the same way, so it's not really that big of a deal, though. I'm not really freaking out about it too much. Now, looking on the front, we can see we have a 1.7-inch LTPO OLED display. It's a very good display. Coming from a Series 2, I don't see that big of a difference, but it's a very good display. I like it a lot. The Series 5 has the same type of display technology too, so not a big difference there. So this watch still holds up in 2020 quite a bit. It does have water resistance, which is really cool, but most of these things you guys pretty much already know about. But we just saw WatchOS 6.1.1 get released, and I didn't really know there were a lot of different features with it, but apparently it actually brought a calculator up, which I'm really happy to kind of mess with. And the watch overall, the smoothness of it and everything has been great. And the software is more or less the same as what was on my Apple Watch Series 2. There's not really that big of a difference between them, if I'm being honest. So that really makes me think like, if you want to save money, you can go pick up a Series 2 and be set even a Series 3. And I've already reviewed the Series 3 as well. And both those watches are still very capable and a bit cheaper than a Series 4. Now, in terms of the performance and everything, this thing was released with the Apple S4 chip, a dual core CPU, surprisingly, and internally there is 16 gigabytes in it. So I, I was surprised about that. They actually had 8 gigabytes in the previous one I had, and they jumped that up to 16. And, and now, with the amount of watches that I see every day, and especially all these phone manufacturers and even watch manufacturers hitting me up, and they email me, they say, sponsor this watch, sponsor this watch, oh, we'll send you this, give it. And I get those all the time, but I can never ever think of replacing my Apple Watch with another watch. And ever since I bought the Series 4 and I've been using it, it has been a smooth performing device. It has been literally like as soon as I click something on it, it's just very smooth. It might be a little glitchy here and there for sure, but really anything I throw at it, it's capable of it. Now, I'll tell you what I use my Apple Watch for mostly every day. So whenever I get a call, I look at it on my watch. If I get a text, I look at it on my watch, Snapchats, Instagram, DMs, whatever. Usually whenever I get a notification, I look at my watch first before I look at my phone. And really, it's been a smooth experience so far. I rarely ever take calls I rarely ever message anybody through my watch but I have recently been testing it out and I've been usually testing out the voice thing the voice to text thing and that has been very cool and it's actually been way more accurate and way more smoother and faster than when it was on my series 2 and even on watch OS 6 I was kind of scared to update before I was on watch OS 5 and it was smooth and I was scared to update to watch OS 6 because when I was on my series 0 I upgraded my watch and I updated it and I think it was like watch OS 4 it ended on and it really messed up my watch it was super laggy and it was good Good enough for me because I barely used it but I was just checking a couple things but on my series 4 it's been handling 6.1.1 very good and I really really like it a lot and the best thing about this watch would definitely be the battery life coming from a series 2 that thing would be about like 30 percent by the end of the day on my series 4 even now this thing I bought this thing used and the battery's probably degraded a little bit there's a it doesn't even tell me how big the size battery is but literally by the end of every single day I'm ending at about 80 percent north of 80 percent usually like 85 percent around that area and that is so amazing I love that so much about this watch it's very dependable really if I do anything with it it's going to be capable enough the only thing maybe I would recommend Apple doing at least in the future is not even a hardware thing at all keep it the same I don't really care it's just a software I'm really hoping that they can add a lot more watch faces that would be really cool I like the ones that they still have 
but it'd be cooler if we can add a lot more customizability, add a lot more things, and with a size watch like the Apple Watch Series 4, I had the biggest one, I feel like they can do a little bit more with it, but I'm not really freaking out about it too much. So to kind of sum up the video, I really like my Apple Watch Series 4. I think in 2020, it definitely holds up. It's a crazy killer device that has a lot going for it. And if I were you, if you're in the market for a Series watch, you want a newer one, I would recommend going for a Series 4. If you want to save the most amount of money, go for a Series 2. If you want to save a little bit of money, go for the Series 3. But if you're okay spending a little bit more money, but not necessarily paying full price like for the Series 5, I would 100% recommend picking up an Apple Watch Series 4 in 2020. So that pretty much covers that. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then. <laughs>